the message of this movie should be don't hit people, not don't hit that guy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and they they completely go against the message of this movie. And then spend the next two thousand years and today hitting people because that guy got hit. They were yes. just like, oh, that was awful. Fuck you, Alan. <laughs> We have learned nothing. <laughs> Go Rangers! <laughs> God awful movie. 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 Welcome back to the Gamcast, where each week we sample another selection from Christian cinema, because if I ever meet Jesus, I want to be able to say, ultimate suffering, my ass. <laughs> I'm your host, No Illusions, and we're coming to you live from the People's Improv Theater in New York, New York. New York, let them hear you. <laughs> and joining me from stage right is my good friend, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Heath Fenwright to the stage. Excellent, excellent. Hello, this is a, wow. This is an attractive audience. Excellent, excellent. The pit actually doesn't know, they think we're doing a movie review, but um, might as well start the orgy now. We've only got like two hours. It's a good call, that's Go a good start call. Doing weird stuff, yeah. <laughs> well, if we're going to do an orgy, we're one person shy, so please also welcome, <laughs> from stage left, my bad friend, Eli Bosnick. Yeah. Woo! Live show! <laughs> Live show! Live show! I didn't do what? What did I Is that what we're doing? What? No! What did I fucking say? What did I fucking say? You said no. live recording, wear what you wear to record. I said dress casual! It is on the fucking whiteboard, I put it on I the I can't couch. read that anymore, it's too many. It says no showing up to live shows in your underwear. It's right away, right between no fucking away Lyme disease and prank wars are no excuse for orphaning rabbits. It says it right there. That's true. It does. It does. I wore shoes. He did. No, we're going to do this right. Go back and and, and put find clothes or something. (laughs) We're going to do this shit right. He comes to me before the show. He says... Can I walk out in my underwear? <laughs> well, I love working with Eli Bosnick. All right, so we need to give him just a minute. So I have some quick instructions for you, but I want to keep this secret from you know who, so I have to mime it. All right, let me make sure he's ready to go. Here he is ready to go. Let's try that again. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my bad friend, Eli Bosnick. Yeah. Jingly keys. Jingly keys. <laughs> Excellent. Do you like my shirt? It's for sale. <laughs> After the show. As much Where? visual humor as possible. Fuck those there people. We go. <laughs> for those of you uh, listening to the podcast, Eli is uh, jumping. He's doing a little karate. Excellent. And uh, he seems to be dressed like he was doing walking laps at a mall earlier today. <laughs> All Ladies right. and gentlemen, welcome to Leap 3. <laughs> this is way more impressive than anything they're going to yeah, do no in Leap shit. 3. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we're ready to get started. Heath, tell us, what will we be breaking down today? All right. We watched The Passion of the Christ. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Or uh, what I... <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Or uh, what I like to call uh, The Jews Did It by Mel Gibson. Yeah. To be fair, you can call a lot of movies The Jews Did It. That, it, it, it is like, the, yeah. All the World War the II war, movies. The wars. All, all yeah. the war movies, really. Yeah. Like going all the way back to the... Angels in the Outfield. That was them. That was them. Yeah. Some good sports singing that one. Yeah. Those are all the movies I know. Yeah, exactly. All right. And Eli, tell us... How bad was this movie? Well, if you like torture porn, that's it. This is a torture porn. 
so that's the movie. But here's the crazy thing. This movie, so here's the thing. The number one feedback we got about when we said we were going to do this is people were like, oh, it was so upsetting. When I was a kid, I saw it. It freaked out. I cried. Had nightmares about it for a week. But there are at least a baker's dozen who figured out they were into BDSM through this movie. <laughs> There's 12 gay guys in the world who were just sitting there at 11 and they were just like, I want that now! Just trying to get spanked by mom and dad when he got home. He's just like, what are you going to do? <laughs> get those ribs! I'm a naughty savior! <laughs> Right, I just want to tell the people who did not come to the live show that they've now missed Eli's ass cheeks, his boobs, pretty much. Yeah, the that's whole what you night. get. People, yeah. 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 All right, so I've got a quick question for the audience here. By round of applause, uh, how many of you have seen The Passions of the Christ? A lot of people. A lot of people. Nice. All right, that's an awful lot of you. And, uh, and just to, uh, just to close the loop here, how many of you have not seen Passions of the Christ? Smart. Oh, a lot more smart. people. Smart. We have a smart audience. good life choices. Yeah. We have the smartest audiences. All right, if you need directions or anything, you know who to ask on the way. All right, so is there anything that you guys want to nominate for this for being the best at being the worst at? Uh, mm. Can I go with Sassiest Satan? He was... <laughs> Very sassy. They, Satan just looks like gay albino Jeremy Renner throughout this movie. <laughs> he looks like he should be judging RuPaul's Drag Race. He just walks through every shot just... <laughs> I love your shoes. No, I don't. I don't love your shoes. That's all Satan does. Which means that the people who made this movie are so crazy that their version of Satan was just a gay guy. Yeah, right, right. A slightly paler version of RuPaul terrifies the... It was the worst thing Mel Gibson could imagine. He could have had a snake that shat fire and came, you know, Glenn Beck's scripts. And instead he was just like, I don't know. Mm? Shaved Heath? Heath is shaved Heath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shaped all you, the way. You have any nominations, Heath? Uh, I'm gonna say best um, best Aramaic movie I've ever seen. All right. Solid. Yeah. It was fantastic. They, they literally went out of their way to make this movie more difficult to follow. Yeah. They they put it in three ancient languages that no human being speaks. But that was to hide the anti-Semitism for the most. Like was. that was it, literally it, was. it didn't work because there. Work. If you look in the IMDb thing, like they have a bunch of hidden lines where the Jews are just like, "This is all our fault." But they say it in Aramaic, and but they don't know. Jews search for anti-Semitism. We found it. We were like, "Uh uh." <laughs> we separated out all of the audio tracks, and and it says we deserve this on this one one. So. <laughs> Fuck you, Mel Gibson. All right, can I, can I just throw this one out? Maybe that it was the best, worst at... Am I mic'd? That's okay. It's a, small, it's a small crowd. I can handle it. <laughs> was it possibly the best, worst storytelling? Because, like, over and over again in this movie, they basically tell you, like, yeah, you know what's going on here. They give you these little snippets, little flashback. Let's know you know who these people are. Well, then why do we need this fucking movie? No, we don't. This is the version of like your drunk friend being like, my buddy Alan, he was at Denny's and they fucked him up. <laughs> <laughs> and it, like Mel Gibson shared a with that guy and he was like, keep talking, mate. I want to make that into a movie. Can we torture someone during it? <laughs> yep. That's yeah. the important thing. All right, well, if this movie taught us anything, it's that when you got a crowd of people who want something, you fucking give it to them. So we're going to take a brief break, and when we come back, we'll resurrect all the misery that was Passions of the Christ. Excellent. Hey, Mel, uh, have a seat. Thanks, guys. Always a pleasure. Uh, more for some than others, but, uh. Yeah. So, uh, Mel, we, we got a few concerns about this new, uh, Jesus movie you're doing. Concerns? Well, it's a perfectly accurate description of the last 12 hours of the life of Christ, so I can't imagine what kind of concerns you'd have, but, okay, shoot. Okay, uh, well, let's start with the title. Um, Jesus and the Jews who killed him, colon, also they control the media? That. Yeah. 
Yeah, perfectly accurate. Like I said, <laughs> can you please not uh, not lick that? Oh, sorry, mate. Should have said. Should have said. Not for licking. Yeah. Okay. Well, we were thinking we could maybe go with something less anti-Semitic. It would. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Maybe something like my story. No, no, definitely not that. Uh, something a little more kid friendly. Trouble Hebrewbin in Jewtown. Uh, no, also not no. that. Oh, right, because that's New York City. Right. Uh, Passion of the Christ. Um, isn't that the name of the plays medieval Christians would put on to incite pogroms? I uh, F- feel like you want me to say no. I, I do. I, d- I definitely do. Then the answer is no. Um, but- uh, well, 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 also, Mel, I, th- there are also a couple of issues we have w- with the film itself. Hmm, such as, such as. Well, I, I'm not sure if this was the final edit of this, but but there's a part in Act Two where your dad just drunkenly stumbles onto set and demands to see the six and a half million bodies. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, at first we thought that was clearly a mistake, but we we actually double checked, and that's in the script. You're aware of that being of in the script? It is. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. So- Issues nepotism. I get it because um, I can get uh, no, Amadina no, Janajad no, to do it if you'd no, prefer. No, no, no. You want him? That, that's that's not really. It's a not text. nepotism. That's not the problem. Oh, then I'm not sure what your issue is. Uh, I I know I'm getting that that you don't understand, and and that's really terrifying, actually. Also, why do you smell like poop? Yeah, it's a great question. Look, 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 guys, guys. One second. Uh, again, uh, again. Uh, please he's, don't he's, lick he's, that. Yeah. Sorry, Thank on you. me, on me. You tell me once, shame's on me. Tell me twice. Staple my tongue to the roof of my mouth. Look, 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 look. I'd love to stay in chat, but if I sit still too long, the manticore will find my magic bag. So, if there's nothing else... Um, well, there, there's actually a lot of else. Uh, and, and also, what you're doing <laughs> now <laughs> is way worse than I, licking I it. I kind of like it. Hi, hi. Fun trivia. Do you guys know who started all the wars? <laughs> Guys, I just realized I have no idea what the Macarena is. <laughs> is it a black thing? It's fine, there's none of them here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> if I don't look at him, he can't see me. I'm just going to take these uh, batteries back out and let you vamp for an hour and a half. That's awesome. I, I, everyone will hate it, but they'll be like, how was the live show? will be like, I don't know. They introduced the movie, and then Eli apologized to a black guy for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have an hour's worth of shit to apologize for, I honestly, bro. I do. It's true. You get to see Eli in his underwear, so yeah. let's, let's face it. That's, that should more than make like, up for it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you give them what they want. You give them what they want. That's, or they'll crucify you. Yeah. If we learned any, <laughs> I will a hundred percent do this show, Nick. Do not tempt me. <laughs> this, this is how I ended up fucking a guy for a first time. Okay. <laughs> it was me. It was I was. Me. It's true. If you think I won't be, you won't it into sucking dicks for an hour and forty minutes. You don't know me. <laughs> You don't know me. I will work my way through the male and female audience members. I will be the Richard Carrier of God Awful Movies. <laughs> allegedly. 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 All I'm saying is that now all the shit I have in my notes is going to be so disappointing. They're going to be like, fuck. I'm listening to these Jew jokes instead of getting blown. Right. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Eli, can you can you can you gam with a uh, dick in your mouth? I can gam with a dick in my mouth. <laughs> All right. That's been tweeted at me so many times. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta add something to the whiteboard here. <laughs> oh. And we're back for the breakdown here, and we're gonna start this movie off on one of those balls on dead ass accurate prophecies from the Old Testament that was definitely talking about Jesus. It was Isaiah fifty three five. Some dude's going to get the fuck beat out of him eventually. Is it something like that? <laughs> Clearly, they were talking about Jesus. And ultimately, I, I have to point this out. This movie begins 
with a man babbling incomprehensibly in the woods, if you've been listening to the show, you know, this is the same opening as Vultures of Horror 2. Yeah. Yeah, very so similar. Essentially, it's all the same universe. <laughs> and again, this is, Jesus, this is how they present their Messiah. He looks like he has a bad flu. Yeah. Where you, like, throw up and yourself and then shit yourself until you throw up yeah that's they're like hey meet jesus he's the one shaking in the corner for no reason <laughs> right. yeah. he's, he's having trouble he looks like a jedi guitar player having cocaine <laughs> withdrawal or something like that yeah it's not looking good i had that because it was the weirdest fucking casting of course so much has been said about how white their jesus was but the casting in this this guy if you haven't seen the movie Basically, you look at him and you think, that guy's not going to sell me the bag of weed until I hear the fucking story of his band opening for Skid Row. <laughs> he, he's Aaron with a California accent the whole time. It's ridiculous. I'm just glad no one told Jesus a joke. Otherwise, he would have been like, <laughs> <laughs> I expected him to surf during the walking on water scene. <laughs> just takes off his puka beads <laughs> to yeah. get whipped. And speaking of the casting, I was very... Very disappointed. I turned this movie on. I'm ready to watch Mel Gibson get tortured to death, yeah, which he, sounds fantastic. <laughs> it's Jim Caviezel. It's not at all. He doesn't have a racist rant on YouTube. This was not. It was highly yet, disappointing to me. Yet, give give him a second. <laughs> you think <laughs> by the end of this show he might have some evil <laughs> shit to say about Jim? Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, Jim Caviezel. Hey. <laughs> no. No. We don't have I reached out. Their lawyers wrote me back. I cannot get within 500 feet of Jim Caviezel. Or Kelly Colbert. Or Kelly Colbert, yeah. No. And very soon the guy who wrote the War Room adaptation, too, yeah. That's a, that's a call back to the uh, VIP get-together. Sorry about that. So also, now, so we go from the, from the woods where Jesus is clearly took too much, and now we're going to meet the Jews. In this, <laughs> I get it. Oh, you are so ready for this movie. Because the first fucking thing we see the Jews do in this movie is throw a bag of money at Judas to betray Jesus. Right. And it's just, it's downhill from there. Yeah. To be fair, though, like, for Jews, spilled money is a huge deal. Like, this is... For the Jews watching this movie, that's the most emotional scene. Because you don't... You don't know if he's going to get all of it. That was really hard for me to watch. I've seen a guy tortured to death. I have videos of a guy being tortured to death on my phone that I will show you after the show for a nickel. <laughs> But dropping money is real for us. Yeah, and the throw and the throw and catch was phenomenal. It didn't it didn't work out movie. at all. Based on every movie we've done so far, yeah, it had a little bit of that, a little bit of that, like push catch. They shot put it at Judas. It, it, just, it doesn't work out. So, and this is a movie about the crucifixion. They managed to fuck up sports in a crucifixion movie somehow. <laughs> Brutal. I mean, you're that far away. Just hand it to him. Like, ask any Seahawk. Marshawn. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> How hard is that? Just... Bad idea. Never going to let the fans live that down. So, meanwhile, back to Jesus coming down off of peyote in the woods or whatever... And he's, he's clearly at that I want to puke but I don't remember how moment and this is where we meet Jesus or uh, Satan rather we've already talked about yeah. Satan he looks like Legolas trying to fuck a goth chick or whatever right yeah Marilyn Manson lost a few horcruxes <laughs> not that good <laughs> not that good Jew Jewish uh, Jewish Voldemort yeah. bigger I, did, nose. I didn't even know it was Satan at first I was confused because he looks like Anne Heche coming from a Smeagol audition yeah. that she didn't get he looks he looks like Seal out of blackface <laughs> Not a lot of people know that, but Seal is always in blackface. That's a white guy. Google it. It's not true. Google never lies. So, so Satan is having this conversation with, uh, 
with Jesus basically sounds like Eli trying to pick up a homeless guy. Yeah, he's he's like, who is your father? And Jesus is like, I won't tell you. And he's like, oh yeah, what if I shit out a snake out of my dick? Were they going for snake dick? Were they, they were going? definitely going for snake. Here's the thing. If Satan is standing there and it comes out from the dick area, he either shat a snake or a snake came out of his dick. There's only two That's options. Fair. Yeah. That's entirely you think possible. the snake that crawls out is his dick? <laughs> he can, like, send the dick out to do stuff. You just blew my fucking mind. That's an interesting... That's oh, an interesting I wish I could send my dick out. <laughs> I want to send my dick out to do stuff now, like, make copies. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back to the fucking whiteboard. No. I didn't say I was gonna. I said I want... You, you can't just, write down my like, dreams. <laughs> All right, I, I, At this I also point, can't write with the back end of a microphone either, so... Uh, the whiteboard is just my vision board. <laughs> <laughs> it's my wedding registry. It really is. So... <laughs> it's the Eli so, Bosnick story on a whiteboard. It's yeah, great. Yeah, it is. So, so the snake tries to build Cosby Jesus, but it, and then the music kicks in... And there's this clear, like, and then Jesus remembered his kung fu training thing that goes on. Seriously, it's like, bam, bam, bam. But, but instead of doing anything cool, Jesus does what he, his one magic trick. Mm. He just yells at a thing until his dad kills it. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> and the snake's like, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> All right. Satan said this would be a fun trip. <laughs> So then we have to we now. So now we're going to get to the actual like where they catch Jesus. And I want to say like if I'm sending guys out to go find Jesus in the woods, I'm thinking maybe don't go with clanky outfits. Everyone is dressed in cowbells. Entire. There's a lot. There's a middle school that has no percussion section because of (laughs) what they do. Soldier. Would you like batteries too? Oh, are my batteries right? I think you're good. Okay, you're good. You're good. All right. All right. Just just. But they're they're clanky. They look like the. Slightly gayer knights who say knee. <laughs> they, they totally do. They look like samurai nesting dolls, but like <laughs> with like a bedazzler they own somehow. Right, but yeah. they're like Russian made. They're not even Chinese made ones. They're like Russian made ones, you know, all the and, way down. And I wish I was kidding about this, but Eli literally spent hours and hours of his life trying to find those outfits for us. I did. I wanted to come out dressed like the Jews in this movie. And every time I Googled it, the Google was just like, do you mean KKK membership rally? It was just... (laughs) Would not let me dress up like the Jews in this movie. (laughs) They all look like people who went insane at Hogwarts and just hide in the walls. (laughs) So just for the record, naked was the second choice for how (laughs) you come out. That was Jews. Plan B. Naked. Yeah. So many things you did wear with those two questions. And socks. Ally. So... So then Jesus, so they, they're like, which one of you is Jesus? He's like, yeah, that would be me. And you figure he's just going to get caught there until you realize that Peter is fucking Batman. Peter does work. He kicks some ass. Peter is yeah. it man. for, And I did not remember, because that's not in the Bible. No, no. So the partner, Peter's just like, <laughs> and just like, <laughs> Eli's doing more karate. Yeah. yeah. It was, <laughs> and he does it. He kicks the ass of like 84 guys before Jesus is like, Peter, no. Which makes no sense. Right. If your character is stopping someone from fighting, Peter goes to fight and he's like, no, Peter. People who live by the sword die by the sword. Don't yeah. do that. Instead, he's just like, <laughs> Peter, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. So He would have been fine if he right. let Peter finish. Yeah, right. <laughs> It was going to be like the dojo scene with a bag of rice from It Man, which is the bloody rice. He walks back to Jesus. He's like, I would have been fine if you had let my Peter finish. (laughs) The Eli Eli Bosnick story. story. Thank you. You get it. There it is. So, so Peter ninja apostles for a little while. And then they, and also I want to point this out because this is one of those things where like, yeah, it was written right down 2,000 years ago. They weren't thinking about how it was going to look in the movie, but they have to have the bit where the dude slashes the guard's ear off. Hmm. Now try to picture this. Try to picture that you're sword fighting. Try to picture a move that just takes off the fucking ear and doesn't hit the shoulder. Good luck with that. <laughs> if you hard. can, you're doing better than the filmmakers because it looks fucking ridiculous. It ends up looking like a badly choreographed scene from a Sweeney Todd at a high school. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> 
It's like my one-handed Macarena gone wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that was right? That was going right there? Okay. It was All going right. right. Awesome. She regrets it now. She knew. <laughs> she learned a valuable lesson today. And isn't that why we really came here? <laughs> so now we're going to meet Mary. And if you're wondering which Mary, go ahead and keep fucking wondering. Because they... For some reason, they cast two women that look virtually identical and are virtually the same age to play Mary Magdalene and to play Mother Mary. So you don't know who the fuck it is. She wakes up because she's feel, felt a disturbance in the force or whatever. Right. Yeah. And the casting call for both the Marys was just Jewess. Oh, <laughs> clearly. Clearly. <laughs> the character description here is obviously just like mother of the bar mitzvah boy. Every bar mitzvah <laughs> I've ever been at. Is just a Jewish woman. I think, honestly, I have a little theory for you. When Gibson was swearing at the cop, I think he was just ch trying to cast the movie. <laughs> he was like, are you Jewish? I got a movie. I'm looking for... He wasn't being anti-Semitic. He was just like, I want you to be in the film. You Jewish? <laughs> How about you? You? How many wars have you started? How many... Yeah. And... <laughs> just real quick, I, want, I wanted to go back. It was one of my favorite moments in, in that scene when, when, he, when they find Jesus in the woods there. He... Kisses, Judas goes up to him. Oh, yeah, kisses, yeah. He kisses Jesus on, on the face to show the Roman guards which one is Jesus. I just wanted to see the meeting they had before that happened. Do it with me. Start, all right, so uh, I'm Judas. You're, you're the, the all right, Roman guard. So, so, um, so when I get, when we get there, um, so the way you know which one's Jesus, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna blow him. What if I blow him? <laughs> Can I? No, do, no, you don't need to do that. You can just gonna, point at him with your finger. Point, like I'm pointing point with my dick? You mean, no. No. <laughs> Can I no? Just your finger. Just, just gesture like, towards him. And I feel like that's gonna be boring. I feel like that's gonna be boring. What if I do like a tender kiss on the <laughs> cheek? Would that? Can we if, just? If I say you can kiss the guy you're supposed to point to, will this meeting? We be can over? call the meeting. Okay, <laughs> call the meeting. All right. Deal. Yeah. There was no. That's how this. it happened. Yeah. That's how it happened. And, that's how they made that decision. And again, you have to know. Jesus has already identified himself at this point. He's already said, "I'm Jesus." So he's just like, "I'm not." Not kissing you though. <laughs> I'm looking for a way to get this. Like, done fuck for a this. Minute. I'm taking my moment. <laughs> and also, okay, so and I, I had to write this down in my notes. We are 16 minutes into this movie. We have already seen Jesus get punched, betrayed, hung, whipped, choked, kicked, and nearly snake fucked. And we are just getting started. Um, cause this is the part where we get to the, they get to the bridge and they throw him over the bridge, but he's got the chains and they drag this, him this back up. This is jump style? Yeah. yeah. And, and again, they must have had a meeting about this. They must have been like, alright, so did you check the height of the bridge? Nine and cubits. The length of the chains? Nine cubits. Did you say cubits. nine cubits and the nine. chain is definitely gonna be less than Brian nine measured it. Brian, Brian you measure <laughs> everything up, man. Fuck you. Fuck. But it's the Aramaic version. <laughs> <laughs> It actually says fuck you, Brian, in the subtitles right That's there. That's Aramaic yeah. for fuck you. Yeah. You don't know. It's not a real language. It's made up. <laughs> also, like French. It, there were several... Okay, so the, 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 the setup of this whole movie is that this is the last 12 hours of Jesus' life. Not much happens here, so they have to keep doing weird shit that isn't in the Bible just to make it seem cinematic. So when they throw Jesus off the bridge, all of a sudden... Fucking Ted Cruz's wife just runs by. Well, what was that? Oh, well this is the yeah. crazy. So they made this movie. It's like half snuff film, half like horror movie. Yeah. Because they filled it with pop scares for no reason. That make no it's sense. It's just like him being like, oh, they punched me again. And then all of a sudden someone's like, ah, Beetlejuice. What? what? All right. Why? Why? Throughout this movie, there are a series of moments where the movie's like, boo, and you're like, why? Well, that wasn't... Really <laughs> nothing about... Also, we should point out, b before we get into it, none of this is in the Bible. This is all based on a schizophrenic nun's hallucinations. Do you yes. guys know this? So... There was a late, there's a, a nun who had like schizophrenic fits and one time she woke up from her seizure and was like, guys, I just saw the crucifixion and everyone was like, tell me all about it. We don't have antibiotics yet. <laughs> <laughs> Write that shit down. <laughs> So all of the, like, how many times he got punched yeah. and where they poked him in the dick. Although there's very little of doing stuff to Jesus' dick in this movie. But not they, enough. Not, not enough. enough. Not, not enough. nearly no. enough. Yeah. Very disappointing. All of that is based on just a crazy late... Like, we could go... We're in New York. We could go find a homeless person right now who could <laughs> dictate what we see in this movie. Because she's just like... And then the Italian guys whose teeth keep changing came up and they were just like... <laughs> <"Bruh!"> <laughs> 
He uppercuts him like a Ryu. What's that? It's a video game in a couple thousand years. It's just... <laughs> Dragon Punch. Yeah, that would have been nice. Or if he had like a lion dick detachable that could fight the snake, that would have been... I would have yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> So a lot of things I'd enjoyed more than this fucking movie. So, and also, again, just to kind of like move this movie around a little bit, we get these little flashbacklets. And I say fat flashbacklets because they're all like 18 seconds long. And it's like, all right, now back to more torture and Jesus. Um, but we get our first one here, which is uh, where uh, Jesus is making the table. So this movie, again, not in the Bible. This movie proposes that Jesus invented tables. It does. <laughs> It does, because because Mary comes up to it and she's like, "What is this weird contraption?" She's like, "You sit near it, look." And he does this, right? But he doesn't have a chair. He just like does like this, and she is. But she's like, "Oh, like, are you like he just did a fucking magic trick?" Oh, you just see like blood and shit come pouring out from under her robe because of this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this movie proposes that Jesus invented. Tables. Well, just the high top. The high shitty top. high top table. Yeah. Right. You the one you settle for. Right. You settle for is no TGI Fridays. TGIF, yeah. yeah. The worst. Okay, it guys. Comes back you have to a party TGIF. of four. If you want, I can put you over in Stephanie's section. No. No. Stephanie's the worst. She's Brian of this restaurant. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> So, but what we're supposed to learn from this one, of course, is that Jesus sure did love his ma. They have a little splash fight and everything. And now it's bad. Oh, no, we don't get to torture Jesus yet. First, we got to meet Pontius Pilate, who looks like Baba Brinkman got smacked with a pan. Yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, he looks like Baba Brinkman got cast as Pontius Pilate. It's pretty creepy. <laughs> and then we get back to more torture porn. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we whip Jesus. Well, they, so here's the thing about Pontius Pilate. We meet Pontius Pilate, but the thing... He's by far the best actor in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he so. does the best job. But Pontius is entirely ruined by the fact that his wife's name in this biblical movie <laughs> is fucking Claudia. Claudia. Cla Claudia? Yeah. I want to speak to a manager. Claudia? <laughs> <laughs> there were people walking around the biblical times just like, oh, oh what's your name? Joseph? And what's this person's name? Pietra? What's your name? Claudia? She just walks in with like a gift bag from TJ Maxx. And she's like, <laughs> I was shopping. <laughs> All right, well, you know, and you know what else she does is she wakes up like straight up with a fucking. She does. She star. wakes oh, up straight obviously. up. Obviously, pisses me off. Uh, Check it off your bingo really card. To me. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Bingo. So now we're getting to the, um, to the part where the where the Jews are actually going to condemn Jesus, and this is the first time that we really meet these Jews. Now, one of the guys, the guy who stands like to the right of the main Jew, I wish we just, didn't have to say that's that. That's so what long. it says in the credits. It, it, it's, yeah, it does. It's, not it's, not a Jew, it's just the main Jew, guy to the right yeah. of the Jew. And let me just say, the actors who play the Jews in this movie, they added to the anti they made choices that added to the anti oh, yeah. no director's note was like hey, it <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first there's three guys at the front who are just they have the prosthetic and they look like the vultures <laughs> from the Disney cartoons but the guys behind him who like wanted to turn it into an under five that like with like a little bag of gold which is like <laughs> hold on cut Jew -ear, Jew -ear. one more time a little Jew -ear. <laughs> yeah. I, I swear that was probably 90% of the directions that Mel Gibson gave in this movie Jew -ear. Jew -ear. Jew -ear. Jew -ear. <laughs> can you do it with a little more Jew and also when they're accusing Jesus there's this weird blocking that goes on where one guy comes from the right and says something about the, the other guy comes from the, did they plan this it's like, guys, we're gonna look, it's gonna look stupid if we all come from the same fucking side. Right. You yeah. come in and I'm gonna say he eat it, he created demons, and you say that he thought he was the Messiah, you say he fucked dudes. It'll be a, it'll be a thing. It looks yeah. like lyrical dance. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing with the scene, I couldn't put my finger on it at first, it was kind of familiar. You got this overweight man, and he's saying stuff that I don't understand to a chained up prisoner. Hurtful. And then I realized that, Golden bikini is the only thing missing. That, that it's it's this Jewish guy is Abba the Hut. Kaifus is Abba, Abba the, Hutt, the Hut, and that's what's happening. It was exactly like. I that. was convinced you were talking about a uh, home video of Eli's. Um, he'll show that one to you on the phone too for five seconds. Uh, but, the, but 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 the main Jew guy is not quite buying all of the accusations and everything. So he goes to Jesus directly. He says, "Hey man, are you saying you're the Messiah?" And Jesus is like. Mm -hmm. I actually have that clip. Oh, do we? Do we? Can we go? Oh, BJ, wonderful. can we play the clip? It starts with the guy's face. It starts with Jesus' face. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, here he is. Echo, Anna. What the 
That's the main Jew in the yeah, that's credits. Hulk Hogan, but he can't quite he can't do quite, it, right? Yeah, right, like right. If I tried to tear my shirt open, so it's just like, can I, do you want to? Do you want a scissors or something? I feel like no, I got it. You saw, you saw what he's trying to do, though. You see the? <laughs> it's just, and his neck hole just ends up stretched out. <laughs> That's about it. So he just came home that night, and his wife Esther was just like, "What happened to your shirt? Did someone say they were the Messiah again?" <laughs> yep. We talked about this. Dr. Bierenbaum gave you that little stress ball you're supposed to squeeze if people call themselves the Messiah. <laughs> yeah, it, clearly he wasn't taking it. So after this scene that you just see, this is where they all just line up to start punching Jesus. If you remember the end of Death Proof when they're around in the circle with Kurt Russell, basically think of Jesus as a weeble. And you'll, and you'll basically have the, uh, the whole visual here. A- except that they're trying, they want us to take this shit seriously. Yeah. And so we actually made a little compilation of all the times Jesus gets hit. Do we have a very, is it, t- is it just the whole movie? Is that? Yeah. Do we have much. a, do we you have guys very... want to watch the whole movie right now? Yeah. yeah. Right. We have, we have a very tasteful clip of a little compilation of all the times that Jesus gets hit in this movie. It's very tasteful. Hey, you remember at the live show? When we played that music that was legal when it to was play, perfectly apropos for the situation, it yeah. was super funny, and it was it was legal to so play because good. of the ASVAB compliance of the People's the Improv best. Theater, but wouldn't be legal to uh, pro- transmit on a podcast. Yeah, that was awesome. That clip, that's the movie. That's the whole thing. That's first of all. Movie. Thank you to Alex for making that. But second of all, that clip is four and a half minutes long. Yes. Yes. The biggest fight we've had on our show is whether or not I just made you watch all four and a half minutes of that clip. <laughs> I lost that conversation, but I would have just sat here in echoey silence while you listened to All Star <laughs> and watched them really beat up Jim Caviezel. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but but Jim Caviezel actually got the fuck beat out of him when they were doing that. Like two of those scenes that you saw were them actually whipping the dude. So, like, eventually, they, 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 he, he dislocated his shoulder when they, they dropped the cross on him. Yeah, he got, got hit by lightning he got struck at one point. By lightning. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that day he had to have heart surgery after the whole thing was over. Like, that dude really did get the fuck beat out of him. I don't think he suffered like we suffered, but he suffered. But, like, here's the thing who, in what situation do you get actually whipped? During a scene, and the movie doesn't stop. Right, like he he got actually hit, and he didn't go like, "Guys, fuck you!" <laughs> what the hell was that, Alan? And the guy's just holding the whip, and he's like, "Mel just said to do it," and it's like, "Well, don't listen to Mel." <laughs> Mel tore off one of his nipples because craft services didn't have tacos. They have their own whiteboard that just says, don't listen to Mel. <laughs> so, now, of course, before we can go any further with the Jesus torture porn, we have to wrap up the, uh, the Judas storyline here. All right. So, so first, of course, Judas goes back to the Jews, tries to give them the money back, but his warranty's voided. He sat on it or said, whatever. They always get you. Right. The, le- the realistic thing about this movie is that the Jews didn't take the money back. <laughs> I-, I was going to say the least anti-Semitic thing about this movie, Satan but yeah. Has a bug crawl out of his nose, and he like later carries the Antichrist in a little papoose. <laughs> but the least realistic thing is Jews being like, we don't need a refund. <laughs> If one of you isn't enjoying the show and wanted to hand me money right now, I will accept it. (laughs) They take away my tattoo if I don't. (laughs) A lot of people didn't get that was a Holocaust joke. Yeah, that was all I. Thank you. I saw it sweep up the audience. It started here because they're closer to the sound, and then I watched all of you realize all the way up to the back. (laughs) <laughs> this is just, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, no, it's a Holocaust uh, joke. So, somebody's doing the wave for the Holocaust yeah. joke. I saw it. That was wonderful. That was, our Maybe show has now Jews become more anti-Semitic than the movie we're reviewing. That's awesome. <laughs> um, also, this is where we're introduced to, like, the demon children. 
Like, like yeah. the, the couple of kids come up to help Judas, and he's like, no, I don't need help. And then they're all like... Right. Well, Judas basically lives my second grade experience here. <laughs> just getting chased. Get out of here! <laughs> they're just not holding dodgeballs. Do you have a lot of herpes in second grade? Yes. That was, but like, by the minute, growing herpes. I had a very aggressive gym teacher. I don't even... I shouldn't even ask. I don't know why I ask these questions. Yeah. This was before the full Nelson was outlawed in wrestling, so... You know, oh, I... It was uh, Dennis Hastert. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was, that was weird. You got a picture. He's it. the rapist wrestling teacher. Yeah, he's that. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. In case They're you losing know. track. Yeah. <laughs> and also, of course, now, as I'm sure most of you are aware, uh, Mel is a Catholic, so we have to spend an awful lot of time on, on Mary's superpowers in this movie. Um, Jesus never has any kind of superpowers, but Mary has it because the first th in this next scene, this is where we we have to be very very quiet because Mary's hunting saviors or whatever. So she walks into this room and she's like, she's yeah. around here somewhere. She's like Nicolas Cage from The Wind Talkers. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She literally stops and puts her ear to the ground, and then the camera pans down, and Jesus is like directly below her. I expected him to like reach up and like shave and a haircut, and then Mary's like two bits. Would have been so much. She's better. just dowsing for Jesus. She's yeah, got right. two sticks, <laughs> cupping for Jesus. So <laughs> cupping for Jesus is the name of my my band. Yeah. Yeah. No, there you go. Um, so now we got to cut back to Judas being chased around, around through the desert the next day by all these little demon children. And, of course, Satan's with them or whatever. Yeah. And, and then he sits down and, like, all the children disappear. And he looks around and apparently right behind him is the camel where Luke Skywalker spent the, last, the night last night or whatever. <laughs> and he just, he just has this look on his face. He's like, holy shit, I'm sitting right next to a dead camel, ain't I? How would you <laughs> not notice? I mean, here's the thing. I have a fan theory here. Again, all movies, same universe. I think that dead camel is the camel that left during Book of Mormon. <gasps> That's camel. <laughs> That's ca yeah. I know. Now oh I know God, how Muhammad I feel like felt. Muhammad. Yeah, I'm upset by that. <laughs> yeah. The camel that died in the different movie is the most likable character in this movie. <laughs> So, so now we get them dragging uh, Jesus back into like appeals court or whatever. And based on the door and the music, I believe that takes place in Jurassic Park. Yeah, <laughs> they get so close to the music, it's like da 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 da. Don't da 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 da. Someone very clearly wrote all those notes, and they were like, "Dude, you're gonna get a suit." And he was like, "There, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Jurassic Park." <laughs> So now, of course, this is where they're dragging uh, Jesus up in front of Pontius. Now, I, I, like, so this is one of the situations where, like, the, G the Jews want him dead. They want him condemned, but they can't condemn him to die. But they can apparently ask someone else to do it. It's like the like the elevator where all the buttons are already pushed or whatever. It's like an Aramaic version of Twitter. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's a it's a social media site where you're limited not, to 140 it's, characters. What do you, uh, you know how it's, sometimes I'm on my phone and I'm sad because people are saying mean things to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They send them in from home, from Twitter. Okay, there we'll we go. go over it after the Lesson show. learned. So, and, and, and I have to say, one of the things... I just things, use it for porn, the internet. I don't know. No. Yeah. yeah, no, no. If you, if, you, if you know the right people, you can use Twitter for porn. So, uh, yeah, right here. This, Jamie, this is Jamie who provides all of our hypocritical boobs. Yes. Everybody. Yes. So, and, and I want to say, like, one of the anti-Semitic kind of turns in this movie is how much effort they go to to not demonize Pontius Pilate. Yeah. Because every time we see Pontius, he's like, man, I really don't want to kill this Jew, but then all those other Jews are going to fucking get me fired or whatever. Like, over and over again, he's trying to find a way out of it, right? And that's, this is the first time, you know, they're all, like, telling him what he did. And, and they're, they're, like, building it up slowly because they're like, well, what did he do? And Pontius is like, what did he do? What do you want me to kill him for? And he's like, he violated the Sabbath. And Pontius is like... I'm doing I, that I right mean, now. I mean, while he was fucking dudes. <laughs> yeah. Pontius is still like, no, I'm doing that right now. He says... <laughs> <laughs> so finally they land on, he says he's the king of Rome, and Pontius is like, okay, well, no, so I guess I can I'll, kill him for that. I can yeah, kill him I, for that. Yeah. <laughs> he's also creating a tax evasion cult. Yes, yeah. right, right. And he's like, oh, you mean just like you guys? No, 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 no like no, a no. different... <laughs> Like a different tax evasion called Jingle Keys. They didn't yeah. have keys. They didn't have locks or keys yet, so they were just jingling like the sword you kept by the door, <laughs> or or maybe that oh, the armor. Yeah, right, exactly. exactly. Their cowbell, cowbell armor. armor. Right. So so uh, 
Pontius takes uh, Jesus into Thomas Jefferson's house for a quick chat or whatever. <laughs> and I got to say, Jesus is such a dick in this scene. Because first of all, he comes in and he's just dripping blood every fucking way. doesn't wipe his sandals on anything, nothing. And Pontius is like, hey, man, have some wine. And, and Jesus is like, you know Jesus is thirsty. And she's like, no, I don't want your fucking wine. Jesus is basically like he's talking to his stepdad who's trying to bond. Yeah, like yes. Just take, just take Jesus for a ride and see if maybe he'll repent. Just take him out. <laughs> so I, uh, I hear you're into PlayStation. Uh, what kind of, what kind of PlayStation you got there, champ? Whatever. <laughs> Morning. You know my real dad. My real dad's the son of God. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. Me your mom likes you very much. <laughs> How would you feel about me being the king of Rome, rendering, <laughs> rendering unto me what? <laughs> so, so Pontius is still unconvinced, despite uh, Jesus' douchebaggery. So, so he brings Jesus back out. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. No. Nice carry. Fuck. Somebody's wow. carrying like 19 beers into the audience right now. It's excellent. Very well done. Very well done. And what I love most about it is that he avoided eye contact with us. Yes. Because our eyes are based on movement, so he was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I bet if we had hit him with like a lamp, he would have frozen. <laughs> like Metal Gear Solid style. He has to like... Get under a cardboard box. <laughs> this is great radio, bro. <laughs> Fuck it. There are people in New Jersey who are like, can't make it. Fuck those people. <laughs> a guy came from Puerto Rico. We got London. We got yeah. Puerto Rico. Jersey couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never see that. <laughs> Look, I'm going to do a backflip. Yeah. Oh! And now I shall never do one again. <laughs> he Hypnotize does. the audience. They'll say I never did one. And sleep, wake up, good. <laughs> <laughs> James Randy. <laughs> no, I didn't do a fucking kids thing. I was just, that was a magic. He does, I mean, he did both, but don't, look, don't Google it. It's just a joke. He didn't, well, I mean, he, don't, do, it's, so don't, don't, what, don't, go, don't Google it. What Eli meant to say was, then we go to Herod. <laughs> Speaking of gay dudes with yeah, beards. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, we got um, Eric Cartman in mascara. Yes. There he is. King Herod. Heath, Heath will never know either. That's the wonderful thing about it. <laughs> Even the people at the live show. Um, so, yeah, so Pontius doesn't want to condemn Jesus, so he sends him to Herod, and I don't know where the fuck they found this guy. He was amazing. It's like they cast Josh Gad in this fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> Herod looks like Don King upside down covered in eye makeup. <laughs> Nailed it. Got a little Ben Franklin at a drag show going yeah, on. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> like Rastafarian, Williamsburg bartender. Yeah, exactly. Relief pitcher at the same time. He's yeah. like he's like a uh, Williamsburg bartender who moves to the village. Uh, like yeah. it, uh, he kept the beard but added the eyeliner. Yes, yeah. And there he you had go. like a cat's eye. <laughs> and speaking of cat's eye, <laughs> he three also... makeup nerds loved that joke. <laughs> None of you bitches, but one girl at home right now is like cat's eye. <laughs> That's for her. <laughs> Trying to get jokes to you guys one at a time. Don't you tone police my a while. jokes. <laughs> I can see everything. <laughs> Special features. <laughs> what Eli meant to say is then we cut to Pontius and Claudia <laughs> having a philosophical moment there talking about the nature of truth. Right, so this is where we learned that, like, Pontius is basically all the students at Harvard before Kelly Kohlberg got there. <laughs> Fucking, he pulls down Nietzsche from the shelf on a scroll, and he's like, well, I'm a nihilist, and I don't believe in hard determinism. I really disagree with Sam Harris. And she's like, who are those people? And it doesn't matter. We need to excuse this Jesus guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, yeah, so once again, nobody will condemn Jesus. At this point in the movie, I'm like, I'll condemn him. The blood is on my fucking hands. Just get this thing over with. 
But this, this is where like, he, the, the guard comes in and tells him, hey, man, no, sorry, uh, Herod's not going to do your dirty work. And he's like, damn, I have to figure out what to do before there's an uprising. And the guard says, there is already an uprising. An uprising. <laughs> now, as a filmmaker, you would think that we then would cut to the fucking uprising. We've just been promised a war. But instead, it's back to more litigation with Jesus. This is this is where we get the uh, the Barabbas Andrew bit, Torres's right? Andrew Torres' like ancestors sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> the one Jewish family member all the way back in Andrew Torres' life. That's a cross podcast joke. You don't all have to yeah. get it. It's all one universe. <laughs> All the podcasts come from the same universe, correct. Um, so this is where we meet Barabbas. So because we haven't really gotten into the Haiti Jewy thing yet. And I love Barabbas. Oh, he was amazing. He's He's the be- this is all Barabbas' performances. <laughs> <laughs> all Barabbas does the entire, because they couldn't make him just like, because he's a revolutionary, he's a condemned murderer, and in history he was just like a revolutionary who they decided to spare. But they were like, no, 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 we want to make Jesus look good. So Barabbas... Like, <laughs> he could not be a worse. They like bring a bit. Ba- he's basically free hat. They bring out a baby. Like, Who do you want to free? And Barabbas is just like, vote for me, American Idol. Eli is now miming, getting blown by a baby. You just have yeah. to imagine that. That was fuck. When you're getting That's blown what by you a baby, it's twenty five like fucking dollars for. When you're <laughs> fucking a baby, you got to get like a table. No, no, no! You don't get to you don't get to laugh at the Holocaust jokes and then judge the miming of fucking a baby. You don't get to draw your line here right before I fuck the baby. <laughs> Hold on. Perfect height. The whiteboard's coming out. Great. That's a good one. I, I support this one. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Holy shit. So, yeah, so the Jews, of course, they have to, they, 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 they decide to let Barabbas go. And Jesus doesn't look mad, just disappointed. <laughs> and then he turns to the crowd and he's like, okay, what do you want me to do with this guy? And everybody just starts chanting, crucify him, crucify him. We don't give a fuck if this pogroms or shit later. We just yeah. want this guy dead. It's like a <laughs> slightly less racist Trump rally. <laughs> <laughs> Lock him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Oh. <laughs> you don't. So just an ancient Dave Rubin <laughs> interviewing Barabbas. <laughs> you make some good points. I look like everyone's divorced dad. Go ahead. <laughs> so all right. So now we're going to get to what what I believe is the most infamous scene in this entire movie. Um, this is the one where they tie Jesus to the whipping post and scourge him or whatever. And this is where, now, this is something that we don't talk about enough. This is a very strongly anti-Roman movie because the guys beating up Jesus, they look like the pizza pizza guy from Little Caesars <laughs> with Down syndrome. Like, that's what they chose for those characters. They have different numbers of teeth in each scene, like one scene. Yeah. Yeah. He's got one tooth, and then Jesus' blood splashes on him, so his teeth are all back in his face again, and then he like, oh, knocks him out in between the scenes. Yeah, and, they're bar- and they bark. They just basically bark the entire time that they're whipping him. Now, i, I got to point this out. Like, I've watched movies where the only point of the movie is to make you go, Ugh, you know, or whatever. Like, like these horror movies where that's kind of the point. Even these, Even those movies would not spend this much fucking time whipping a guy to death. This is, like, by the end of this, he looks like Mayor McCheese's menstruating vagina. We, we, like, it's, 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 picture that, picture if that. You'd if you'd like to buy we, your we Mayor McCheese's... We have a clip of the, no, I'm kidding. If you'd like, um, <laughs> if you'd like to buy your Mayor McCheese's menstruating vagina t-shirts, they'll be outside. Yeah. We have one. It took a very long time to make. <laughs> We're to fire a lot of hurdles artists. from McDonald's that took so long, yeah. But, but no, just to give you an idea, okay, so they, 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 they tie, and you've seen scenes in movies where people get whipped before, and basically you look at their face, and maybe you see there's some bloody cross hatches. Yeah, but, but, but in this movie, we literally watch Jesus get whipped 
32 times. I counted. So did the guy in Latin behind me. But 32 fucking times. And then we're not done. This is where they go and then they get the cat of nine tails and start whipping him with that. And we watch that nine times. And then they flip his ass over and start whipping him on the front. So did anyone else have this experience? I had a very meta moment when I was watching this where I was just like, what do I do for a living? Like, cause you're all, lots of you watch this movie to get ready for the show, and this is a long scene, and you must all have had the moment I had where you were just like, I should fast forward? <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> it was quite fucking gross. Yeah, so, but eventually we're rescued from that scene so that we can watch the two Marys be sad together. Uh, this is also where we learn that Claudia apparently moonlights as the towel girl at public torturings. Yeah, she brings, she brings towels from like Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, right. They're just could not, they could have Yankees logos on them. They just could not be more out of place in this world. And she hands them to Mary, and Mary does the ultimate Jewish mother thing. Jesus is, like, covered in blood. Mm -hmm. or he's just covered in blood. He definitely needs a towel. And instead, she cleans the floor. Yes! She's like, oh, he made a mess. <laughs> Listen, if you're going to kill my son, I just don't want anyone to say he made a mess while you did it. <laughs> They're going to say, my son had the cleanest crucifixion. That's what they'll say. <laughs> I just wanted to go up to Jesus and like lick her finger. And be like, you got a little schmutz. You got Mom, a little, don't. You got a, you got a little I'm dying for right, your sins. Right. Mom, I'm All dying right. for your sins. You're going to look like an idiot if they Mom, crucify you. My girlfriend's here. Just clean clean yourself off a little Mom. bit. It's important. Oh. So, <laughs> I'm the light in the way. <laughs> Guys, I will create a Patreon goal for me to read the entire Bible in that voice. <laughs> <laughs> Straight read. So while I'm adjusting our new Patreon page, I guess that's as good a place to take a break as any. But before we do, let me give Act 3 this uh, the hard sell here. Will Jesus get whipped some more? Will Jesus get punched some more? Will Jesus get kicked some more? Find out the answers to these questions and absolutely nothing else when we return for the barbaric conclusion of The Passions of the Christ. <laughs> Raphael, Uriel, wanted to run something by you. Uh, sure, boss. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you need, God. All right. Yeah, you know how I'm all the time tormenting humans on Earth and then burning them for eternity? Mm hmm Sure do. Mm -hmm. Well, I finally thought of a way I could forgive myself for making them wrong in the first place and stop doing that. Oh, wow, boss, that's that's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was the solution to just s stop doing it? Because you are omnipotent. You can just Even not do better. whatever you want. I, I'm thinking that I could take human form, subject myself to ultimate suffering, and then sacrifice myself to myself. Uh, yeah, that that seems just just overcomplicated. Uh, yeah, remember? That's, <laughs> that's great, boss. Oh, anything that yeah. makes you stop torturing okay, everybody, right? Wonderful. What a great idea. All right, so first things first. What is the very worst thing somebody could possibly suffer through? We need ultimate suffering here. Uh, being born in a basement to a kidnapping victim and knowing nothing of the world but rape and cruelty. Mm, yeah, that's very... Oh, or what about um being horribly deformed in a pre-scientific culture and being rejected by those that should care for you only to slowly starve in abject misery? That... Uh, like. Being Steve Anderson's wife. Uh, okay. Uh, or, or what about being one of those eyeball monsters that has to spend all day, every day, singing about how awesome you are? That nope. nope. That's good, good guesses, guess, guys, guys. But, but no, it's, it's being, being beat, beat up, up for a couple of days and then crucified. Um, are are you sure? Because I feel like our stuff was way worse. We nope. Had nope. Some, nope. Yeah, it wasn't. Was beaten up and Steve crucified. Anderson. Ultimate, ultimate suffering. suffering. Um, I mean. Well, it does take days to die from. You're probably right, God, honestly. But, yeah. uh, days? Are, 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 you, are you sure about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Second surest of the people in the room. All, 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 all right, okay, well, well, well maybe a, a few hours of crucifixion. That's probably a, 
you know, ultimate enough, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't you guys think? Sure, God, yeah. Yeah, and and That's then the you'll put an end to human suffering, yeah. right? That's well, well cool. no, no, I'll, I'll just stop burning them in hell. All of them? Oh, no, no, only the ones that, that, that love the, the human me. But is, isn't that what you're already doing? That's, so stop that's being nothing. such a downer, Uriel. Okay, first thing I need to do is impregnate a virgin. I, I, either of you guys seen my turkey baster? I want to say no real bad. Say no. And we're back for more of this shit, and we didn't even get a three-day break like Jesus. Anyway, it has been seconds since we watched Jesus get tortured, so we're going to go back to more of that, I guess. Um, and in the middle of this torture, we're going to get the uh, the cast the first stone flashback. Now, I, I wanted to point this one out specifically because this is one of those, like, we already know you know this story moments where, like, if you didn't already know the story of the, the Mary Magdalene and everything, there's no fucking way. If I told you Jesus was drawing out the winning play for his fucking backyard football game, that would make more sense. I thought it was tic-tac-toe. Right. <laughs> and then I thought it was a cornhole tournament. And... <laughs> No, because all you see is the Jews standing there, and then Jesus draws a line in the sand like a bad Clint Eastwood movie. And then the Jews just r drop their rocks and go home. Right, but It's like on... a s slightly higher tech Rio Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> just less, less Zika. Yes, yes. Bigger heads, bigger heads, <laughs> bigger yeah. heads. No. Again, I fucked a baby, there was the hot... You don't get your line can't be Zika, okay? Yep. <laughs> it's not even here yet. You all listened to Loving the Bad Man and were like, tee hee 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 hee. <laughs> don't get to tweet at me about this shit. <laughs> so <laughs> at Heath Enright. So now this now this film has a uh, another one of these phenomenal condemning Jesus scenes for us. And uh, I, I feel like, okay, so like this is the fifth time or whatever that the crowd has gathered to watch Jesus get condemned. And you can't help but wonder, do any of these people have a fucking job? Does the whole city just shut down for six days for Jesus here? <laughs> Unreal. This was pre-movies, so this was like all they had entertainment. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. They're going to beat the crap out of a guy. You want to go see that? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, uh, apparently that's still what we have for yeah. entertainment. I'm going to die in like 10 minutes anyways of the rickets, so let's do it. Why the fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. not? <laughs> Ooh, watch somebody more miserable than me. But this is where they gather around, and they basically they show how beat up Jesus is, and they're like, uh, is this good enough, guys? Is this... And, 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 it's not, like, mm, it's and Pontius no. is super upset because he was like, hey, go beat him up a little bit. And they bring him back, and he's just like wet meat that like came out of the Taco Bell dumpster. And he's <laughs> like, guys, I said a little bit. And they're like... There's this weird comedy moment where they're like, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, you want me to cruise? He's dead. I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, guys. <laughs> but it's not good enough. No, no. No, no it clearly isn't. And, and, and Bonches is still looking for a way out of it. He's like, hey, is it okay if I crucify you, dude? And Jesus is basically like, yeah, I guess so. And, yeah, it's but, all good. It's 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 the Jews. They did this. It's it's not just looks at the camera, winks. It's the Jews. <laughs> they did this. There's also this weird moment where like Jesus is a little punk drunk in this scene. So when he's like, "Do, do you mind getting crucified?" He's sort of like, "Yeah, sure, man, whatever." <laughs> I was like, "You ever bring a friend who's blackout drunk and you know he's blackout drunk, but he doesn't know and you don't want him to freak out and start fighting fire hydrants?" So he's just <laughs> sitting there at Denny's with a grand slam breakfast. And his hand is under the toast, and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, there's this there's this weird bit where like Pontius is still trying to figure out what he's doing there and everything. That was I know that was a, that was a pretty good line I know, but so Pontius is trying to figure out what he's going to do and everything. He's still trying to find a way out of it, and the Jews start fighting in the crowd. Like either you crucify this guy or we're going to punch the fuck out of ourselves. What kind of bargaining chip is this? I wish we did that more. I wish we did that more often, like in crowds, at like America's Got Talent. If the person didn't win that they wanted, they just start beating out of the shit out of each other in the audience. That would be, that'd be pretty. I'd I, I start watching that show again. I yeah, watch hells, it. Yeah, it's just not even on anymore, isn't? That's, that's that's how long it's been since I watched TV. So, <laughs> so now we finally Pontius finally agrees to crucify him. 
So we're going to get to the part where Jesus drags the cross and gets whipped for the remainder of this goddamn movie. Oh. Yeah. And this procession looks like the Olympic torch going through Rio, but like... <laughs> But, like, slightly safer and less okay. violent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus falls down less times than they did in Rio trying to carry that, like, their only remaining fire that they had left <laughs> in that country. They all had to pool together. Like, someone in this country still knows how to make fire, right, guys? <laughs> But they literally, they do this so many, like, okay, so we see Jesus fall on the cross. We see Jesus fall under the cross. We see Jesus fall downstairs. We, we actually have a really tasteful compilation. Do we have a really tasteful oh, compilation? You remember that other time when we played that we other the song? the same thing, the song? Yeah, it was, uh, and Jesus kept falling again, down. so funny and appropriate, and yeah, yeah. Go to the live show. It's about a... <laughs> That, that last one gets an 8.5. That from the, clip uh, is like American also judge. three minutes long, and we had to decide whether or not to just show you all the times yeah. Jesus falls down. <laughs> yeah. And we decided against, ultimately, which is good, because it's I like lost. quarter after eight. That's <laughs> you won on the underwear like thing. I feel like you should take that as a victory. We all won. So... Now, of course, again, because this is a Catholic movie, we have to follow Mary's adventure through all of this. So she's apparently rushing to Golgotha to get good seats for yeah, the crucifixion. She, she wants to be first in line for the Q&A Oh, my gosh, I gotcha. I have a question for the Roman guy. Um, <laughs> the Jews did this, right? The Jews did this? Cool. Just, ma- this just is making our fault. sure. <laughs> so yeah, then she had this this little moment where she's like, I don't know if I want to watch my son get crucified. I'm like, I don't want to watch this shit either, lady. But if I'm going to do it, you're going to fucking do it. <laughs> they even have this little bit, and I get this didn't make it into the clip, but they have this little bit where she watches him fall down, and then she thinks about him as a little baby falling down. No, that down. was in there. The oh, baby, it was. Okay. Baby yeah. Jesus yeah. falling down. But this is the thing about this movie, to get a little serious, the only thing sad about this movie is that, like, you shouldn't hit people. Yes. <laughs> like, it doesn't... If this was just, like, Steve, the guy who stole too many kumquats or whatever the fuck fruit they had back then, it would also be a sad movie. Yes. The crazy thing about this fucking movie is we're supposed to be like, no, 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 it's extra sad, because if they had just done this to, like, that guy, we'd be like, meh, but because they did it to Jesus, it's bad, am I right? Come on! Yes, yes. And this was a genuinely touching moment. Like, you see the kid fall down in the moment between a mother and son, but, like, lots of people got crucified. Crucifixion was bad. The message of this movie should be... Don't hit people, not don't hit that guy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and they they completely go against the message of this movie. And then spend the next two thousand years and today hitting people because that guy got hit. They were yes. just like, oh, that was awful. Fuck you, Ellen. <laughs> we have learned nothing. <laughs> go Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is this is so awkward. Like when we were setting this up, because at first when I when we started watching this movie, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad we did this one for the live one that we saved this for the live one. And then for the last 40 minutes, it's just the shit you just saw of Jesus falling down and getting picked back up. All my notes. That's it. From this That's from it. this point on, or just Jesus gets whipped, Jesus falls down, Jesus gets up, Jesus gets the we're crown of thorns. We're gonna reenact this movie after you give Heath enough drinks at the end of the night. <laughs> We're going to live the last... It's just... It's not going to end with Jesus fucking one of you, but other than that, it's going to be exactly the same. Clearly, you didn't watch the extended cut. Um, so, so we also... Don't worry, it's on the whiteboard. I put it on the whiteboard. two puppies. So, uh... <laughs> Now, we, we also have to mention, and, and is this from the crazy nun ladies thing, or was this in the Bible? The, the random guy that they pull out of the crowd to help carry the crowd? Simon of Tyrene, yeah. Oh, is that yeah, who that yeah, was? Yeah. They pull out this guy, and he's just like a random spectator, but he is, first of all, he's the only person who's remotely dark enough to be like in that time yes, and place in yes. the entire movie. So, for me, who was not aware of the history and the bibli bibbleness of this, I was just like, oh, they just made the black guy help. They, like, walked over and they were like, dude, can you, you. (laughs) And the rest of the movie, this poor black guy is just following along being like, I just want to be clear, I am not a part of this. (laughs) He's got to, like, give Jesus a pep talk. He's like, come on, man. (laughs) This is already not a good world for me to be in. I need you to... 
<laughs> Hal Jordan. I'm like. So- <laughs> okay, so you'll Google that later and be mad. At me. <laughs> I'm like 90% sure that Gibson tried to get Danny Glover for this part. He was like, absolutely not. I'm not um, being in your fucking movie. I think Gibson thought he got Danny Glover. For this. <laughs> Danny, how you doing, Mike? It's great to have you on this. And the guy was just like, dude, are yeah, you kidding? What are you, like you 600 keep saying bucks that. a day. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> guy just goes home, keeps calling me Danny. Totally worth it. Craft Services is great. <laughs> keep beating the shit out of Jim Caviezel, but he seems into it, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Glover. <laughs> no. Nope. No. He's so, dead, right? <laughs> How sure are you that he's not dead? <laughs> not super sure, right? <laughs> no You're one all like getting you. the phone out and being like, I totally know. <laughs> it's like... You say, if you prove Eli wrong on that one, he'll prove you right tomorrow, so uh, don't... Uh, I'll kill Denny Glover. <laughs> Hold on, let me put something on the fucking whiteboard again. I'll be back. All right, you're safe, Danny Glover. All right. So, they, so yeah, they pull Sammy Davis Jr. out of the fucking crowd to help him out. The only black Jew I could think of. They Sorry should be about buddy that, cops but... in the sequel. So that would be oh! Fun. How fun would that be? Because he's got the hole in his hands and Sammy Davis Jr. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm ready to do this. There's like four people who know who Sammy Davis Jr. is. I nailed that impersonation. Yes, yeah, so, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, if you know it. who he is, he didn't. But if you don't, that was, yeah, that was spot on. So, and also, um, help me out on this one, too. I do this shit twice a week, guys. I try to get, try to get these guys from one end of the show to the other. It's amazing. <laughs> this is why it takes him. This is why he edits till four in the morning because it's just me and Heath being like shamming it now. now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest. I think I've been doing a Maisie Gray impersonation, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I get knocked down. I get up again. We gotta say. We gotta save that. Where's Maisie Gray? Is she back? <laughs> no. So- <laughs> If you're listening on the podcast, Macy Gray is coming out. Macy Gray is a huge fan. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so also, help me out on the chick too, like because we we there's this chick that we have not met yet in the movie who shows up to give Jesus a towel. Oh, she's just a randomly upset woman that they decided to spend six. She blew Gibson, I guess, in his trailer. I guess. And he was like, "You're getting a whole section of the movie now. I can't give you any lines because I already wrote the script in my own blood, and I'm all out of blood." <laughs> And it's just, it's, she's just like a lady who saw a bike get hit by a car, and her whole performance is just like, well, this is unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to follow her where she sits down, and she's like, I had the worst day, and her husband's like, yeah, what's wrong? She was like, oh, they were beating the crap out of this guy. <laughs> he didn't have any towels. Bloodied my fucking towel. But she seemed to really be into that towel, because after he, he wipes his face with a towel, she, she kisses it. Well, right. I mean, if not that's, knowing if, that he's the savior, she's not a follower. Right, she's right, exactly. Like, Blood just, towel, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're into that, that's fine. But warn me first. Holy shit! Yeah, my notes here were just. It's nice to know one of my ancestors was there. Was just like, <laughs> oh, souvenir. <laughs> Put her on ancient Jewish eBay. She was like, <laughs> bloody towel, three <laughs> kumquats. <laughs> Well done. MVP. All right. We're inviting him on as a guest next week. So so now they arrive at Golgotha, where they're finally going to crucify this son of a bitch. And I, I, wanted to them, I wanted them to have the cross already set up, just like to aggravate him. They were carrying the cross. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. And it was just like, oh, yeah, no, we already had it. <laughs> Simon's oh, all my pissed. bad. Why would you, you take that one back me. to Jerusalem? Well, We're not it was need already it. not fair to Jesus because Jesus had to carry the whole tea, and the other two guys, did you notice? Right. Just, just got had the to one. carry the Lincoln log. Yeah. And they got the. <laughs> one guy's just got like a fucking branch. He's just got a stick. Well, no one's hitting him, and then Jesus is all bloodied up with the whole capital T doing CrossFit. Yeah. And he's just. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get to that CrossFit joke right. eventually. Next also, Kickstarter goal, CrossFit training with Eli. There nice. You go. Yeah. 
I will probably get you hurt less than actual CrossFit. Yeah, well, so that's that true. <laughs> and you won't have Lyme disease. <laughs> so also, was this like, because I, I, I don't mean to be like, oh, you know, you have some Jewish family, so you know this shit. But was it tradition that during the crucifixions, they would bring out like a... A kazoo chorus? Yeah, I think that's. I think that's. Yeah. Okay, all right. Whenever, whenever the accurate. Jews go after each after someone at the big meeting we have, we all like. It's the only instrument Jews can play, except for that like fiddler on the roof kind of fiddle, <laughs> and that gets boring real quick. That's but kazoo, pleasure. on the other hand, yeah, never, yeah. no, never. Um, and also, yeah, let's talk about these other two themes Jew for kazoo. a little bit because they had such a, like a shitty attitude about this. As I feel like if I was one of these thieves, I'd be like, you know, like kind of like sneaking in the back going, yeah, no, he's the real son of a bitch over there. But they have this whole like, who the fuck's supposed to be whipping me, guys, kind of an attitude. Like they're pissed off at Jesus for taking all the whipping. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can we talk about the way he looks because of all the whipping at this point? Oh, my God. It, he's got like... Like cross hatching going. I feel like the Romans like set this up. It was like, all right, now you whip him at like a ninety, <laughs> and then it'll look like like well, do it like let's do it like grill marks, like a yeah. skew, and then see that's why you're the uh, senior yeah, whipper. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a middle schooler was trying to draw a shadow behind Jesus on Jesus. <laughs> you guys ever did that? <laughs> It's fun, you cross hatching. No, the, 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 the grilling thing makes sense of why they flipped him over. Yeah, now, he's like so, a yeah. Tostito. I, I get it, I get it. Yeah, this no. is, this is all Otherwise, only together. the top half of the world would have been forgiven for their sins. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of people in South America going to hell. <laughs> or getting Zika, one or the other, yeah. So then. One universe. Oh, you don't so, boo him. Everybody's on board with Zika now. Everybody's oh. on board with Zika. No one makes that Zika joke. Up to the oh. Zika jokes. Good. If you'd like to buy our book, No One Makes a Zika Joke, it's a children's book. If you'd like to buy it, <laughs> it's at the merch table outside. And if you want to get rid of your Zika, Eli can fix that for you, just like Lyme disease. <laughs> yeah. All right, so so now they, they finally got Jesus there. They, they strip him down to his signature diaper. <laughs> well played. Well fucking played. Did you get a picture of my tits just in case I turn tail? Like, so you can tweet it at me when I become a Christian apologist? <laughs> so... And I know what, if you if you watched along with us to this point, you know you're thinking the same thing we were, which is like, um, when's Jesus going to get tortured a little bit? So now we get the part where he gets his, it gets nailed into the cross. Now, I, do you guys know whose hand that was on the cross? Mel Gibson's Mel hand. Mel Gibson's fucking hand. He said, and he said in interviews, it's because he died for my sins. I had to put my hand on the cross. I think Mel Gibson's just incapable of not having someone hurt him in every movie he does. I could have been it. Like at the end, they had all the shoots done, and he was like. You know, I realize no one hurt me. And the, the editor was like, I will kick you in the balls right now. Please don't make me do any reshoots. And he's like, we got to do like 36 do guys lining up, yeah. And I like how they tap down the nails behind it to, like, yeah, be safe. Like, keep it locked. Yeah. So it's like a safe crucifix. Nobody, like, cuts themselves behind it. Right. They're sanding off the edges smooth. Okay, also, and again, this is not even remotely in the Bible. There's a part where they yank Jesus' arm out of socket so they can stretch it along, like stretch Armstrong yeah, or whatever. it's like yeah. a Royce Gracie video. They're like, you got to get on the angle and just get your hips against it. Uh, yeah, apparently. And again, this isn't in the fucking Bible. It's not like we haven't seen this guy get beat up, but apparently the fucking Ikea cross came with a little circle. Let me get that Allen the, wrench. Yeah, yeah exactly, like, exactly. The notch is a little further. <laughs> it's fine. The Wunder cross. <laughs> That's the one. So, and and also, I want to say it's very. I was really happy to see the Romans enjoying their job so much. That's important. It's job important to have a job that you like. Also, okay. So, again, you would think, you know, we know who Jesus is. We know he got nailed to a fucking cross. 
you would think that you could maybe get one shot of the nail going into his hand and then maybe imply the other one. You could hear the sound, maybe see his... No. We're going to watch both fucking nails in the hands, the nails in the feet, the whole nine. We are going to watch every fucking second of that, complete with squirty noises. Where the hell did that come from? I expected like an ESPN replay (laughs) with John Madden being like, now you see the nails right here. (laughs) He's drawing in yellow on the screen in slow motion. <laughs> That's some good crucifixion right there. That's some fine crucifixion. You see, the crucifixion isn't over until he's dead. Once he's dead, <laughs> he's here. He's still breathing. So yeah, so they, they they put him up on the cross, and again, this is such. This could be I, okay. So I should I should say I'm a huge fan of uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. It's a phenomenal show. Like, like Neil deGrasse Tyson, that means I'm not an atheist, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Neil. But <laughs> and then the baby, and then the Zika, Zika and then virus. his Zika. The- and I pretend I bet you've heard all the shows. You knew it was going to happen. You're not. Su- <laughs> You're excited. I, I just want to say I didn't know it was going to happen, or I'd have warned you, man. Uh, so, <laughs> so, but anyway, the point I was trying to make is that when you raise Jesus up on the cross, even if you're not, you know, even if you're watching this as an atheist, that can be one of the most dramatic and incredible fucking moments. But not in this stupid fucking movie. In this movie, it's like, oh, thank God, <laughs> finally. At this point, you're so bored and hateful of the experience that you're just, you're literally just like, yeah, he's up there! <laughs> right! <laughs> oh, thank God. And then, can we, this is where he gets heckled, right? Yes. Yes. The other thieves. By the are, other guys getting crucified. Right. He's getting crucified and they're like, do something, pussy. Do some magic. <laughs> do, uh, do some magic. <laughs> fucking fool yourself. This is all part of the trick. Don't be an asshole. This is. <laughs> this, <laughs> This is every magic show I've ever done where someone just takes my cards and shuffles them and is like, now find the card. And I'm like, I can't do that. (laughs) And and Jesus just reacts the way I do when I fail a magic trick. I'm just like, totally could have done that trick again. But like, um, busy. (laughs) I decided to die for your sins instead. But like, my friend Mary told you I could totally escape from this cross if I want to. (laughs) Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> podcast audience, you're missing more visual humor. I apologize. Yeah, fuck you for not coming. And I should. <laughs> and I, sh- I should also say that this is the point where we start interlacing like the the Sermon on the Mount. And I thought this was super awkward because I knew I had read before that the guy got uh, struck by lightning while they're while they're filming the Sermon on the Mount. And if you're familiar with the Sermon on the Mount, that it is 95 percent Jesus saying the world's going to end in like three four minutes. That's the whole goddamn thing. There's like a couple little bits where he's like, also don't kill people and shit. But that's, and that's what, that's how they got through it. We get like these little nine second cuts of the Sermon on the Mount and then back to crucifixion. Yeah. That's the only way you could get that in there. Yeah, they salon magazine Jesus, but opposite. <laughs> they choose like the one sentence he said that was Jesus-y according to most people who haven't read the Bible. And cut. And yes, cut. That's it. Got Guys, it. Guys, he's going to start talking about how great he is again. So he's going. Ten good seconds in yeah, the Bible. Exactly. They got it. Yeah. And so now this, and then of course there's thunder, and that freaks everybody out. So they're like, "Fuck this game of Yahtzee, guys! We got to roll." And the Jews react they're, to weather exactly the way all Jews react to weather. They just say, "Oh no, God, it's raining!" <laughs> oh, and there wasn't air conditioning yet, so they're all freaked out. They're just trying to adjust a dial that isn't there. <laughs> I feel like there's supposed to be a. <laughs> Let's crucify another guy. I'll feel better. We're, we're going to take off. <laughs> Look Don't. how clean it is here. Who cleaned up? This is lovely. <laughs> Mary's just standing there. Oh, you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, but I will say, though, the one, the one uh, Jew in the movie that was willing to brave the weather was Mary. You know, she's like, you know what? It's windy, but I'm still going to talk to my crucified son. 
so so she shows she, she shows up and she's like, "Hey, son, how you doing?" And he's like, "I'm kind of thirsty." They put a little sponge on a spear and hold it up to him. He sucks off a. Now a he's allowed water. Was he allowed to act, like? Could he have asked for food or like? <laughs> let me get a blowjob. My dick's kind of dry. I kind of. How about? A- oh, they just have a they have a prostitute on a spear that they just like <laughs> raise up to his dick. How about a claw fucking hammer? It's waterboarding. Yeah. He was a claw hammer right about now. So, yeah. So, Jesus says some cryptic words. Mom says some sad words. It's cool. And and then, I guess, the weather's getting bad. So, they start, like, they do the the breaking the thieves' legs and the stabbing the spear as though they knew they were running out of movie. Right. They're trying to wrap up Coachella. (laughs) They're like, oh, fuck, guys. Come on. We got to break this down, guys. Come on. Knees. Knees, and then <laughs> Jesus, they stab him with the spear, and so, like because it's the nicer thing to do. I guess. And the guy has a gr- he stabs him with the spear, and he gets all blood on his face, and he has a green mile moment. But we don't know what was wrong with that guy's like dick. So that soldier stabs him, and he gets sprayed, and he's like, "Oh, I'm healed!" And it's like, "What are you healed of?" And he's like, "I don't know. We couldn't put it in the movie." <laughs> <laughs> like a scene that they cut where he's doing clap push-ups all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling great. <laughs> so, so now Jesus is dead and we get this great, like if for, for vultures of horror, this would have been an awesome special effect. The, the raindrop falls or whatever and we're inside it, I guess. Or what, anyway, a, a big earthquake happens and everybody's like, fuck that, man. Storms and earthquakes, that's gotta be deicide. That shit just doesn't happen. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now the temple is destroyed and Satan's all mad and snarly in hell. Right, and Satan has like a no moment where he's like, no! Like a yeah. pterodactyl just lost to Harry Potter in like a <laughs> It's just like, I'll never get a palm door at con! Like, I expected him to pull like a bucket of Jesus' blood down on himself in a chair. <laughs> Cuts to a Ricky Martin video. <laughs> I was hoping for that, too. So the Jews, of course, come back and their temple's all destroyed. That's what they get. And you thought maybe you've seen enough bloody Jesus, but no, you haven't. Because now we got to get them, like, taking him down with their winches and shit like that. Now that he's dead, they're being super gentle. I really wanted somebody to drop their end of the sling. I would have been awesome. Trouble. They're like, no, the left. Move, the, like, grab the left side. My what are you left. doing? You're, my left. Turn pivot. the other way. Pivot. Why are you pivoting pivot. my way? No, I said left. Okay, my Three, stage three left. left. Stay Don't shout at me. You are shouting at me. I'm, you are shouting Can at me. Just, God we're damn going it. to HR again. We're not. Gonna, we're going to HR again. I need a mediation. No, this is a hostile this always work happens. environment. Unbelievable. Those two guys gave each other a silent treatment the rest of the day. As well. <laughs> <laughs> so d- we're almost there. We're almost. There. <laughs> So a crazy long, like, take a nap for a minute blackout happens. And then we come back. We're in the uh, the tomb where they're, like, rolling the stone or whatever. And Jesus deflates. Yes. <laughs> he, he does. I, if I get crazy billionaire money, the only change I will make to this movie is I'll just insert the... But then he's standing next to his yeah, own... He's, he's Obi-Wan kenobi in the corner or whatever, <laughs> right. yeah. Right. He vanished from here, and he's here. <laughs> like, <laughs> you could have been anywhere, man. With a hole in his With hand. holes. With you stigmata holes. Yeah. Well, okay, and that's the fucked up thing. The stigmata is not supposed to be the fucking holes in his hand. It's supposed to be the wounds of the crucifixion. So he should still have the cross hatches and the skin hanging off. He should still look like the fucking menstruating vagina and everything, but no. Just no. kept the holes. Like he's just, just kept the holes. <laughs> he's going to use those later. He's also... Well, and they don't show any of that. Again, None. stigmata jerk. That's what we're all waiting for at this Crazy point. Crazy no? billionaire money. Like, also, stigmatajerk.com is our new website. Yeah. It's just me and Heath. We have a shirt at the front. <laughs> it's an extension of cooking with ramen. Or cooking ramen with... You know, I'm just going to cut that one. No one will ever know that line existed. It's on, so, it's on Go90, Don't guys. cut. That's a real show. That's important to me, and I want that publicized. He just, po- <laughs> he just I cook coils. ramen. It's with me. It's a fun show. I see it. Thank you. Thank you. One guy. <laughs> ramen with Heath. 
We're going to be doing the live cooking with uh, ramen with Heath show uh, next month. So. Long tail marketing. So, <laughs> so, and that's the movie. I think my last note was just like, wow, that was gross. <laughs> that was pretty much it. I had stopped watching a long time ago. <laughs> It's like, let me guess, I, they crucify you. I haven't had notes for like half this yet. <laughs> there's just that, there's just that gif of the cat looking for its phone on the bed, and that's all Heath has had up this entire show. If he's gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I almost made it, I almost made it. So, now, of course, the rumors are swirling that there's going to be a sequel. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm curious what you know. Like, okay, so let's say that Mel came to you. He handed you the whole franchise and he says, guys, what do you want to do for a sequel? Mm. Give, me, give me your elevator pitch. Uh, I got a title anyway. I got a title. All right, that'll work. Um, the Passion 2 Morning Star Wars. Oh. We're all started by the Jews. <laughs> See, it's a three-layer joke. I was thinking man. because, like, um, he, at the end, it's got that badass, like, he's going to get vengeance music, yeah, right? When he... Yeah. Passion to Judgment Day. Nice. All right. All right. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. All right. Well, rather than wait, rating like normal reviewers would on, like, one to five stigmata or whatever, um, I want to try to capture the essence of this flick by simply asking you this. What is the one additional torture that Jesus would have had to go through in this movie before he suffered as much as you did? Oh, that's a good one. Um, make him watch dailies of this movie <laughs> throughout. Yeah, because you got to imagine there was shit that didn't make it. It's... <laughs> that, wow. That's got to be rough. Just a separate crucifixion for his dick. <laughs> the, the entire process, but his dick. Like, the dick With has to carry a tiny cross... <laughs> A, a big black dick. Yes. Yeah. You're a step ahead of a me, motherfucker. A black Parker. dick is helping him carry it along. <laughs> <laughs> the dick tangos with the other dick and falls down. <laughs> Finally, they nail it by the balls to either side. <laughs> <laughs> they just put it next to him. <laughs> Draw me that. And while that's going to do it for the live portion of our show and for our review of The Passion of the Christ, that's not going to do it for the episode just yet because we still need to tease you into rejoining us next week. So, Eli, tell us, what's on deck? God's not dead. The original. Now, okay, so unfortunately, this will have to be an Eli-less episode because we... Kind of had to use our spare while well, Eli's on Honeymoon episode a couple of weeks ago. But if all goes as planned, we will be joined by friends of the show, Tom and Cecil from Cognitive Dissonance, who are, at the very least, Eli's equals in weight and collective public indecency charges. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Now, of course, if you've been listening for a long time, you'll know that we actually did review this movie on Scathing way back when it was the first movie review that Eli ever did. That was like a 15-minute segment, 20-minute segment or whatever, or two years ago, whatever. I've actually never seen the movie, uh, so we should still have a lot of fun with it and everything, and then we won't have to, like, you know, cheat Eli out of any of these phenomenally awesome movies we watch. I appreciate that. I do. It's also, it's on Hulu, so if you want to watch along with us and you have Hulu, or more importantly, you know someone that has Hulu, you can watch it there. There you go. Yeah. And the second one will make a lot more sense all the time. <laughs> Right, yeah, <laughs> right. exactly. exactly. All those characters will really lost. lock in for you. <laughs> It'll fill everything in. So with all that to look forward to, we're going to bring episode 53 to a merciful close. Need to toss out a huge thanks to Morgan Clark, without whom the live show would have been a fucking nightmare. I want to thank BJ Thorne for graciously volunteering his time to help us out on technicals as well. I want to thank Al Lehman from the Inciting Incident podcast for cooking up those awesome video clips that you guys didn't get to see because this is a podcast. Also, big thanks to Lucinda Lusions, Anna Phyllis Smith, and all the people at the People's Improv Theater, and most of all, of course, to all the awesome humans who came out to see the show live. Honestly, it ranks right up there with discovering anal beads in my top life experience experiences list and it's all because of you guys fucking Both amazing happened in time. front of other people <laughs> told you it'd be fun. <laughs> well, say, mostly the same people yeah told you it was gonna be the best <laughs> <laughs> 
Of course, I need to throw out an equal thanks to all the Patreon donors that help make the show go. If you'd like to count yourself among their ranks, you can make a per-episode donation at patreon.com slash godawful and thereby earn early access to every episode. You can also help us a ton by leaving us a five-star review on iTunes and by sharing the show on all your various social media platforms. And if you enjoyed the show, be sure to check out our sibling shows, The Scanning Atheist and The Skeptocrat, available on iTunes, Stitcher, and wherever else podcasts live. If you have questions, comments, or cinematic suggestions, you can email godawfulmovies at gmail.com. All the music used in this episode was written and performed by Ryan Slotnick of Evil Drafts on Mars and was used with permission. If you like what you hear, hear more by following links on the show notes for this episode. Thanks again for giving us a chunk of your life this week. For Heath Enright and Eli Bosnick, I'm No Illusions, promising to work hard to earn another chunk next week. Until then, we'll leave you with the Breakfast Club close. Somebody wants to get knocked to down, but I go again. again. Can't Can't go go keep down Breakfast Club. The Jews went on to bury the fossils and start more wars. <laughs> Pictures of Eli walking on stage in his underwear are on Twitter. Jesus was several thousand years off on the whole world's going to end thing. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> I get back down. And a good and a crucifixion, crucifixion and had enough to shut up. That would be if you're in New Jersey and didn't come. Crucifixion <laughs> and not away. Thank you, New York. Aw. Aw. How fun was that? Now, I believe I believe we still have the space for a good ten minutes or so. So we're gonna so. do that orgy thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> Eli's gonna go back in and change. Uh so No, but we did have a we, we did have a few minutes set aside for Q and A if anybody wanted uh uh, oh, you know what? I had one other little bit of trivia that I had to throw out. I've been I've been saving this, I haven't told these guys this yet. Does anybody know? Who Mel Gibson originally wanted to cast as Jesus? That's wow. it! Macaulay Culkin. Culkin. Culkin! Impressive. <laughs> Make that happen. Yeah. Which really, I, I gotta admit, I didn't get it ready in time, but I really wanted to recut the trailer for this movie as Home Alone 6. <laughs> Because you can do it. There's the scene where Claudia wakes up and I would just have like, Kevin! Oh, there you go! <laughs> We get ma- we get Mary waking up like that too. That'd be great. That'd be That'd a be fun great. reaction to the crucifixion. Just yeah. Yes. <laughs> but he can't put his hands on his face, so he's just like. Nail <laughs> 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 it to his face. Yes. Yes. That's it. I would I would be so much nicer to Christians if they had like a guy like this <laughs> that they wore around all the time. Now, <laughs> just Latina women with that on their earrings instead. <laughs> Who set that up? I did not set that up. I did not. Did you do that? Did you just tweet them that? BJ just created that. How did you do that? BJ just created that out of nowhere. That's amazing. (laughs) Text that to me. I'm going to use it. That's fantastic. (laughs) For other stuff. That's how bad it could have been, guys. Joe Pesci is Punches Pilot. Yeah. (laughs) Do not take it down. (laughs) I like it. All right, you want to do a quick... All right, so... (laughs) The ultimate suffering. So now we have about six minutes left for... uh... That's probably better. That's probably better. Yeah, right, right, for Q&A. So if anybody has a question, Eli's going to be moving through. Just tell us your name, where you're from, and uh, who you would recast as Jesus instead of Macaulay Culkin. Oh, yeah, and your question. Uh, My name's Jeff. I'm from New Brunswick, New Jersey, Uh, so... I may have come further than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey got a lot of claps there. Um, and I would, uh, I guess I'd recast uh, Justin Bieber. All right. That's solid. I'd watch his ass get tortured for a couple hours. I like right, it. I like right? it. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, I guess my question is actually for Heath. Um, how really? do you get a word in edgewise? <laughs> uh, just, I, no, I generally don't. It makes my job a lot easier. I just drink the beers that people give me. <laughs> Good so job on that, by the way. Three. Thank you. Thank you. Who, who, who was that? Who brought the three beers up for this? And I ended up getting. Thank you. Big. Ah, oh, awesome. Yes. Fantastic. Question over there. Hey, my name is Chris. Um, first of all, Richard Banks as. as <laughs> there we go. Now you're talking. Choice. If you'd made it an Ewok, I'd have taken you out on a date tonight. My question is, uh, who has the most uh, outtakes of all of you? Outtakes? Oh, me. E- right. Easily, 
easily so Eli. The the way you hear me pronounce words is what makes it past the edit. <laughs> you, you get to hear about twenty percent of what Eli says. Yeah. Everything that comes out of my mouth is just Richard Dawkins September. <laughs> And he turns it into a show. Yeah, no, people always tell me, they're like, no, no, we would love to hear the stuff that Eli takes out. And I'm like, have you heard the shit of his that I leave in? Are you, just imagine what I take out from this guy. <laughs> a lot of nuclear gets taken out. A lot of nuclear. Hi, I'm Catherine. Uh, let's see, I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, would I recast uh, probably Arnold Schwarzenegger just to hear him grunt every time they? Nice. <laughs> 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 uh, my question's for you, Eli. I really want to know how the hell did you get away with licking Ray Comfort and not get you know punished? Yeah! For okay. Great question. So I'm going to reenact it so you guys can understand I'll, what I'll happened. Ray You're Ray Comfort. So first of all, I have two things. I set I, this up so you would lick I me. I should have blown Ray Comfort because I got 12 emails from you people being like, I'm going to lick you when I see you at the show. I should have blown him. <laughs> this would have been a great night for me. So here's what happened. It's sweaty. It's reason rally. The cops are hassling his men henchmen. And I was like, hey, Ray, can I get a picture? And I pulled him in like this. I got him. I got him here. Like, I'm doing no, the right we're, thing. We're not going to blow me. Okay. I pulled he him said in he like should this. have blown. So I really? shook his hand. Okay. Right? And I was like, and I told Anna before, and I was like, you're going to have to take this picture Hello. quick because I'm going to jail. And so I took the picture, and then he's, he's tall. But I was like, eh. I just uh, got him, <laughs> and he he paid for this. Yeah, <laughs> I actually paid for this too. I actually paid for this too. Thank you. <laughs> did you put cinnamon sugar on your face? I did. I, I thought you would like that. I did. So he I also felt had it, it set up elsewhere, but he fine. reacted. <laughs> He reacted, and I was just like, oh, my face is sweaty. And he was like, mm, and I was like, mm, got to call the... <laughs> you got to live in a world where I licked you. <laughs> now, and we locked eyes, and he was just like, all right, mate. <laughs> we got now, it. I, I want to tell that same story from a slightly different perspective, because... <laughs> Because I was coming up from, okay, so I'm walking across the National Mall, because I, I got a hotel right by the National Mall, the thing's at the National Mall, I think, oh, cool, I can walk. It's on the other side of the National Mall, it's like five miles, whatever the fuck. Oh my god. So it's, it's, it's 190 degrees, and it's just, I'm dripping sweat, it's crazy humid, and I'm getting these increasingly frantic texts from Eli saying, Ray is right fucking here. <laughs> Now, I've got, I've got all the recording stuff with me. We don't trust Eli with expensive stuff. <laughs> so I'm coming up and, and the, the, the messages are just getting to be like in all caps, licking him now! <laughs> and so I start kind of picking up my pace, you know, I want to try to get in there. And, and I see him from afar. I come up over the rise and I see the two of them setting up for a picture. I'm like, oh, he's fucking doing it. So I'm like this six million dollar man, like, no, 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 Trying to make it in time. Shaka -ka. And <laughs> well, yeah, oh, yeah. And I see him setting up the picture, and I know what's going to happen. And I'd been thinking up to that point that, that that Eli was kidding. It occurs to me that morning, I'm like, Eli has never been kidding. <laughs> there has, has never not. been a time where I thought Eli wouldn't really do that, and I was right. So I'm like at a full fucking sprint. I see the lick happen, and I just see Ray look at him, just glassy, just stone like, like, like he's trying to figure out if that means he's gay now. And and he is. That's he true. Is. That's that how is, that works. That, that's how that, that is works. how that works. It it moved. If it moved when Eli licks you, that's that's the test. Turns you gay. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you warning me right after the lick right there. Yeah, but, uh, now I only get two wishes. <laughs> in the corner. Oh, all the way oh, okay. in the back. He's all closer. The way. Uh, I would like to recast uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah. Oh, excellent. I, I would like you to say Pokemon. Pikachu. Pikachu? Yeah, I was, was going to say, that one I got. That one I got. Um, it's the little little feline lightning bolt that gives me shit. Board. 
<laughs> and, you know, it's so funny. As we're walking by here, there's like these three, there's these three people on their phones all like talking Pokemon Go or whatever. As I'm walking by, my wife is just going, Pikachu, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> Pikachu. Well, I'm Matt from Eastern Long Island. I... Long Island. I would recast Ben Carlson as Jesus. It would be a four-hour epic. <laughs> Might be the best one yet. And my question is, I want to know when we can get a review of Ray Comfort's Noah's Ark Park. When oh, that's guys, Ken, Ken A with? review of the actual facility, that Ooh. venue? Yeah. Well, you know, I will say Tom and Cecil from Cognitive Dissonance actually did make a trip. Yeah, and, and they, they were tweeting that. The, I, I became aware of it because they sent out a tweet saying, boy, these lines are long. Are we all taking turns with uh, uh, g- giving a go at Noah's wife? <laughs> so I, I had to run in the back and check. She was playing Candy Crush, so they weren't. But uh, I'm Candy Crush, that pussy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, something a little more kid-friendly. Trouble Hebrewbin in Jewtown. Uh, no, also not no. that. Oh, right, because that's New York City. Right. Uh, Passion of the Christ. Um. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle in a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2016. All rights reserved.